Hey, what's up guys? It's Dan here again from BedroomStyleReviews.com. So something a bit different for you today. I'm taking a break from the mattress reviews. I've got a couple of them stacked behind me. Uh, and I'm going to take a look at this Homery Modern Convertible Sofa Bed. So I decided that I needed a sofa bed for my guest room downstairs. Um, so I went online, did a bit of research, and I came across Homery.com. Um, now I'm based in the UK and they've got several websites. So they've got some in America, for the UK, for Canada, Germany and a couple of other places in the EU, so uh, they can deliver to different locations, so definitely worth checking out. Uh, plenty of bedroom stuff, but also other things for around your house. So, as always, the full written review is linked in the description below on YouTube. And in this video, I'm just going to be taking you through the um, the unpackaging, the putting it together, uh, and then I'm going to run you through my thoughts on this as a sofa bed, you know, if it's better for daily use or just occasional use. Um, so, like I said, click the link in the description below, you can read the full review. And also, if there's any discount codes, you can get them on there as well. All right, so first of all, I just want to give you a couple of specs real quick. Uh, so yeah, Homery Convertible Sofa Bed. This is available in three sizes. Uh, if Again, if you click the link in the description below, you can go and see the exact dimensions. Uh, but basically, you've got small, medium, and large. The uh, It's a f very firm feel, is this? So as you can see, I'm pushing on it. Uh, there's a lot of pushback. I'll talk more about the firmness of the mattress later on and its suitability for different sleeper types. Uh, in terms of getting set up, there's no additional tools required. Everything that you need comes uh, as standard. So you've just basically got an Allen key and four screws, uh, and that's around the back there just to attach the backrest. Uh, again, I'll show you that in more detail in the next section. Um, Service-wise, uh, this is 30-day refund uh, window. So if, you, if you're not satisfied with it, you can... You can take it back. So uh, in the next section, I'm actually just going to jump straight into uh, unpackaging into the assembly, and then I'll talk more about its suitability for different types of uh, requirements. First of all, I want to talk about the packaging that the sofa bed arrived in. So I ordered the medium size, and to be honest, I was quite surprised about how big the parcel was when it came off the back of the truck. So uh, if you can see at the bottom, it actually arrived on a pallet. So there was pieces of wood that I've now taken off. Um, these were securely attached, but not to the point where I couldn't take them off. So I just used a hammer and screwdriver and was able to take them off quite easily. So dimensions of the box, it's five feet long, um, 40 inches across and 24 inches in height. And in this case, the box weighed 78 kilos. So although it looks quite intimidating to look at, once I had actually opened it up, um, the pieces are actually just quite easy to lift out. It was nicely padded inside, so none of the pieces were damaged, uh, so I'm happy with that. But yeah, just the takeaway point is here, um, you know, I can't speak for every single item that's sent out by this company, but, you know, the package is going to be quite large and it could have wood around it, so it might not be the case for you, but for me, um, you know, I was just a little bit surprised uh, about the, the packaging, so um, just something to keep in mind, but... If you do have a garage like me, you can put this in for storage or you can take it straight into your house uh, or you might like to just get it straight out and then take the pieces in individually. Uh, that's up to you. So up next, I'm going to show you the pieces um, of the sofa bed before I put them together. I've taken the pieces of the sofa bed out of the box. Uh, I'm happy to report that there's not a million different pieces. So in fact, there's actually only nine components uh, and that includes the cushions over there. So you've actually just got two bits for the base here. Um, you've got the headrest, uh, the main cushions, and then the supporting cushions there. Everything else you can see behind is unrelated. These are the mattresses that I've been testing. Um, if you've subscribed to our channel, you'll see me going through these um, in great detail but it looks like this uh, sofa bed is going to be easy to put together uh, in the box there we've just got a couple of screws so i'm going to do that now and then i'm going to show you the completed article then i'm going to run through the performance so i've just spent the last uh, 15 to 20 minutes putting this together uh, now there's literally only a couple of pieces to this but there's no instructions so they just kind of assume that you'll know what to do uh, but when you unpackage it it's kind of a little bit confusing as to uh, which bit goes where so uh, basically you want the piece with the bar at the bottom and this sits lower down than the piece at the top as you can see because this actually slides underneath so that it can operate as a sofa the headboard's not attached as you saw in the last video so you will want that to attach at the bottom there with the four screws um, there's two uh, 
catches at the back so when you pull this all the way out it does actually stop there so if you can just see in there there's a catch there and a catch there so what you'll do from there is you'll put this on top so that just folds down and that would operate with that folded underneath as a sofa but if you want to use it as a bed and you just come round and it folds out like so um, and you'll notice the cushions here at the top there is thinner than this bit so that it allows it to sit evenly across the top the sofa bed also comes with two pillows as well that you can use uh, if you want to use it as a bed to use it as a sofa from the bed position just take this and flip it up and then push this underneath there then you've got these two backrest pillows cushions even And there you've got the sofa bed in its sofa form. All right, so I just want to talk you through some of the pros and the cons of this um, home reconvertible sofa bed. So uh, for the, big, the biggest pro for me is that it's actually very easy to put together. So I'm not going to lie, when I took it out of the box, there was no instructions. Again, like I just had a pile of different bits and I thought, you know, how would you put this together? But it is actually very simple. So like you saw in the last section, um, you've just got the, the top... Um, top section and the bottom section that slides underneath uh, and all you need to do from an assembly point of view is attach the the backrest so it's actually quite simple i've put together you know desks and other things that are just an absolute nightmare uh, and to be honest this is was actually uh, surprisingly easy so from unpacking to looking like this i'd say it took me 20 minutes so very simple to put together um, you just need a bit of strength to put the, to twist the screws in but apart from that um, it's no bother at all and I didn't need any extra tools other than uh, the hammer and screwdriver that I used to take the wooden slats off the packaging. Um, now, like I said before, the, you know, not I can't guarantee that every single sofa bed is going to turn up um, in, with, in a, on a pallet. It, you know, yours might just turn up in a box, I don't know. But for me, you know, it's quite a surprise to find that, you know, it turned up in, in this giant, giant thing. So, uh, yeah, I had to take the pieces of wood off, uh, but in the end, no big deal. So... I wouldn't say that's a con, but you know, just something really to think about. Uh, so another one of the pros is that it's very stylish, so I really like the black colour. Um, to me, maybe I'm a bit colourblind, I'm not sure, but it, it kind of looks like chocolate brown to me. But uh, either way, I think it's a very nice colour. Uh, I really like the gold, uh, gold yellow accent pillows. And down at the bottom here, the, the detail underneath. I think it goes well with the range of decors. So this would look very um, suitable in guest rooms. You know, if you're using the room also as a study or an office. Uh, it's very modern looking this and I think it fits in very well so uh, yeah it's very stylish so that's definitely a plus for me. So just a couple of things to think about really uh, and the main one for me is that this is it's a very firm uh, feel. Uh, to be honest I did expect it to have a, a more give to it so seating wise I personally would feel okay using this as a daily um, you know to, to sit on watch TV that sort of thing but I don't generally have a problem with a firmer surface but if you're the kind of person that really wants a very soft enveloping feeling um, then this might not exactly be the best choice but if you do want to go for it I would suggest a couple of blankets on top there that's going to give some padding um, but generally I would say yes there's definitely softer sofa beds out there uh, so yes it is firm okay so that does extend to the mattress as well I was really surprised when I got on it just how firm it was so this is going to be good news for you if you are a back sleeper and generally prefer a very firm surface to sleep on now for everybody else so if you're a, a front sleeper or a side sleeper or you just prefer a firm uh, softer feel in general then I would say that you should put some blankets on top and uh, maybe even put a mattress topper on as well if you just want that extra give uh, so in summary, I would say this is a decent sofa bed if you um, are generally going to be using it for seating more than sleeping. Uh, and again, it's got that firmer feel, so keep that in mind. But if you do enjoy a firmer mattress, then potentially you could use the sleeping option um, more readily as well. So uh, I tend to say this is more on the side of occasional use than daily use. Uh, but again, by no means at all is this a bad uh 
sofa bed at all uh, i think it's great as well you know in terms of style and everything like that so uh yeah go and check it out check the uh, link in the description below click through you can read all the the stats and my thoughts in more detail there and also we've got links there for a range of different mattresses if you want to check those out as well now uh if you've not been onto the youtube channel before then click subscribe because i'm coming out with these sort of reviews all the time i've got the nola mattress currently upstairs that's been tested uh, and i'm doing some of the comparison reviews uh, on some of the older mattress i've tested so people are asking me for the puffy looks versus the puffy original so i'm going to do that one as well uh, and also if there's anything else you want me to review just leave a comment in the section below i'll put it on the list and i'll take a look okay i'll see you over there cheers